everything can be variable. In the two minutes it takes you to listen to this video, your body temperature will, for example, have fluctuated by a fraction of degree. So what types of variables are there in an investigation? Well, let's invent an investigation just for context. Let's say that we want to know how fatigue affects reaction time. We need to determine the independent variable, the dependent variable, and the control variables. Now, the independent variable is the factor which is changed intentionally by you, the investigator. In this case, it's how tired someone is. Maybe we change the hours of sleep that someone's allowed before they participate in the investigation. So, sleep duration is our independent variable. This is a continuous variable. It has a magnitude, a size, like 4 hours, 13 minutes of sleep. If the investigation was to do with what your dominant hand was, that would be a categoric variable because it has a label, a name. Left-handed, right-handed, or ambidextrous. Anyway, back to depriving people of sleep. In our cruel little experiment, the dependent variable is the result that we're measuring. It depends on the independent variable. In our experiment, this is an individual's reaction time, probably measured by a computer with a press the button when it lights type method. That's all you're allowed to change, that's it. If other variables change, they will influence the dependent variable, the results, and make it more difficult to tell how much effect the independent variable is having. That's the one that you meant to change for your investigation. The control variables are everything that needs to be kept the same. In our hypothetical experiment, we're talking about things like whether they've recently drunk a stimulant like coffee or not, the age of the participant, that sort of thing. You can't compare the reaction time of a well-rested teenager with an exhausted pensioner. You won't be able to tell whether the results were down to fatigue or age. The more you keep control variables the same, the more precise your results will be. If you could keep all the variables the same, and if only the independent variable influenced the dependent variable, you would have a fair test and an exhausted pensioner.